In case you haven't put on your sunglasses, there is still time to pause this video because I promise some details of this beauty will hurt your eyes otherwise. And by the way, the recording you hear, that's made on the Frenzel. So Mr. Frenzel is welcoming officially Mrs. Fritz. I cannot help but think on the Frenzel as a Mr and on the Fritz as a Mrs. We should find a name for the clavichord now. That's definitely a Mrs. clavichord something. So I'm not playing the piano right now because it's playable. I played on it. Actually, I prepared a live stream of Monday on this piano, not on the Frenzel. But I promised the others, and I think we all can understand that, that there are so many things that still can be fine-tuned so not to present the sound of the Fritz to you before it really is what he has in mind and probably or perhaps a little bit what I have in mind. So don't worry too much because I promise you, you are gonna hear this piano this year a lot of times. So let's pause this tour of this beautiful Fritz just for a second. Something important to tell is, you know, it's the internet, it's open, it's, it's accessible and we will get the remark, hey, you guys must be very rich. And so I want to address this for a moment because obviously this is not a cheap instrument. And if you would say, if you would ask, do you have really the money to pay for that? I would say no, of course not. But you know what? We started thinking on this piano way before we bought the clavichord in 2007. This piano forte was a dream I had since long, actually since I was a boy, for Beethoven. That was for more than 20 years something I wanted to do. So, very concrete, Anya and I are focusing on this instrument for more than 15 years. And yes, it costs us, you know, fancy holidays, we don't do them. We made some sacrifices and I, on that, focused on the instrument for over 15 years. Obviously, we didn't order it 15 years ago and to make that clear. But yeah, if you focus on something 15 years, a big investment, you can divide it by 15. It's just what you want in life. And let me tell you a secret as a final point here. The reason that the, this, all of this worked until now, today, we don't know what the future will bring, but the real reason that this worked is all because of my partner, my wife, Anya. The way she wants this Beethoven project to start, to be a success, the way she, she supports my crazy ideas, the way she says yes to a clavichord, a pianoforte, the, the way she accepted, because you could say, well, that Frenzel fell out of, the, out, out of the sky, I made a video on that, that's amazing. But I make videos here in my living room, you know? 
There are three big instruments and there is a fourth. The Irar is on the round the corner now. We sit upstairs, which is by the way very cozy in our sofas now. So, so we, we, we completely changed our house and function of this project. We're going to build a studio, which is a scary project for me. But Anya is steadiness itself. She says, I believe in this project. We will manage. We will do that. And she keeps supporting me. She's ha happier than I with this piano, I think. And so that's the big secret behind everything. Money is one thing. And yes, if you divide a relatively big sum, because I, again, this is not a cheap instrument, although it's an investment. I think I could sell the instrument today for more money than I bought. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? But more important than that is than this is that you, in my case, living with a, with a partner, with a wife, with a woman, that is so supportive of these things. I think that's a big secret behind everything I do. And I thought, why not take this moment to publicly say this? You all know that, but it feels right to say it out loud like this right now. Thank you, Anya. So this piano has four pedals, they are not all really connected, so only this one really works. So you see that it's of course at the end they must be in the same position. So four pedals, this one is a moderator, that's a piece of felt that is inserted between the, the hammerheads and the strings and gives a very special sound. I made during one of the first live streams on the Frenzel, I made a video of the Moonlight Sonata first movement with the moderator. I will, I will remake that recording as a standalone recording so you can tell. And by the way, I will make a video on, this, on the Frenzel soon and I can demonstrate the moderator there. It's not yet inserted in this instrument. This is simply the damping system. I will show you more details in the future when the instrument is finished. The damping system does what, what the normal, uh, I mean a modern piano still does. And these two pedals, this is used for, you know, the hammers. They hit three strings in the bass here too. But anyway, so it goes from three to two, do we call it? But this is an additional pedal. I ask Joris to make that. It's not on the original. That's una corda. Very few pianos have una corda, but Beethoven explicitly asks for that in some pieces. For instance, the Hammerklavier Sonata. So, there you have it, una corda, due cordi, sustaining pedal, moderator. So all of these guys, the clavichord, the Fritz, Miss, Mrs. Fritz, Mr. Frenzel, that's of course, I don't have words to describe I, how happy I am. I was, I think, 14 or 15 years for the first time when I 
was hit by the beauty of this classical music Mozart. I remember that moment on the organ. Later Beethoven, I was hit by that. Of course Bach came into my life and you know how important Bach is to me and other composers. But this, this idea of playing Beethoven, the first time in Amsterdam I was allowed to play the Pathetic Sonata. I was, I was so emotional. I mean, just playing the Pathetic Sonata and now here, after maybe unconsciously I could say, for 30 years creating the environment for the Beethoven project that I'm yeah, literally dreaming about from my 13th, 14th, 15th. That's incredible. Having this Frenzel piano literally, as I said, came to, fell out of the sky, that, that Lorenz Guardian just donated that piano for me for the Beethoven project. Then this, this unbelievable instrument, I cannot wait to share it for you. It has an enormous potential, really. It's my clavichord, but then it built into a piano, you say, the same qualities. Then this clavichord that maybe I didn't, of course I didn't make a lot of clavichord recordings recently, and I hear you when you say, hey Wim, where are the clavichord recordings? You will have more clever chord recordings in the future than you might think because this is going to be a big part in the Beethoven project. Many variations will be played on the on, 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 on the clever chord. The Opus 49 um, I will make after the Beethoven project is done. Probably some extra CDs or vinyl discs with sonatas that go really well on the clever chord. So you know what can I wish more for? I hope you are excited as I am and I hope you cannot wait for further uh, sounds and certain, for further recordings to share and to, to, to dive into with the live streams, with the practicing sessions, with the standalone recordings, with the videos I will be making on Beethoven, on Tempo and everything around that, that you are well eager to proceed this journey with me and I'm looking so much forward to that with you. Thank you all for being here with me. Also, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you. It's many of you are drives me to go further than maybe I would have done otherwise. So also a big, big thank you to all of you. We see each other very soon again.